What's up, guys? Matt here, and it's Tuesday, which means it's time for another weekly update and what's sold on eBay video. Um, as always, if you are new to the channel, hello. Thank you for clicking on the video again. My name is Matt. I'm a full-time seller on eBay, and I'm starting to get more into some local sales, too. So I sell locally and on eBay. But every Tuesday, I do a video like this where basically I kind of recap how my week went, if I found anything cool sourcing, there's any news or anything going on with uh, me or my YouTube channel, and then I show you the things that I sold on eBay. So, as always, let's start with the weekly update portion of the video. Um, was a decent week sourcing actually. I really didn't go outsourcing that often because I bought those two storage units last week, and I'm still processing all that stuff. So I've got quite a bit of stuff from there to like post and list. So I don't really need to source every day like normal. But the couple times that I went out, I found some pretty decent stuff, actually. Um, so I want to show you a few of those um, things. So today I went, me and my wife went to uh, five thrift stores. And at each thrift store, I bought something, which is pretty uncommon, actually, for me. Typically, if I go to a thrift store, like if I go to multiple thrift stores, I don't always buy something at every store. But today I actually bought something at every store, which is cool. Um, nothing like too like exciting, but to just get something is, is in my opinion, is a win at a thrift store. But the first thing I picked up was they had a really nice Wii bundle at one of the thrift stores I went to at St. Vincent de Paul. Paid 20 bucks for the Wii. It had all the cords and stuff. It had two controllers and nunchucks. Um, and it had a bunch of, it had, not a bunch, but it had some, some good seller games in there. It had a Wii Sports as always. That's pretty much in every Wii bundle. This will get me like $13. Uh, pretty quickly, like within a day or two. Had a Wii Sports Resort, um, like a, eh, it's about a ten or eleven dollar game, nothing too crazy. But had Super Mario Bros, which was pretty cool. Uh, this I've sold this. I sold two copies of this for like seventeen bucks recently. So that was inside the twenty dollar bundle, and then I picked up another copy. This was at the first thrift store I went to. Had uh, Super Mario Bros. This was two bucks, and this one was inside the. Uh, in the bundle with the um, with the Wii, and then the best game that was in there, Mario Kart Wii. So, twenty bucks for the Wii console, a couple of controllers, all the cords, and four games, which will you know this this alone will pay for the whole bundle. So, it was about a hundred dollar bag for twenty bucks. So that's pretty good. I don't always I don't typically find a whole lot of video game stuff out there, but was pretty happy to find those pickups and I found a couple of decent clothing items surprisingly um, and I want to show you and it's actually brands that are pretty common for resellers to find but I don't I've never actually bought them but first one we got here is a pretty nice North Face jacket um, I've seen North Face out before and I actually did a video in one of my videos I showed that I found a North Face jacket actually just like this but instead of the orange it was like just it was like all black but they wanted $35. Um, this one was 8 bucks at St. Vincent de Paul. So really happy. This is the first North Face jacket that I've actually ever purchased. So pretty happy about that. Um, it's really clean. It's in really good condition. There's no rips or anything. So not exactly. I haven't actually done any research on this yet because I just recently got it like yesterday or the day before. But I was happy to pick up that. And then I got this other shirt. I, I really wanted to show you guys this because this thing is wild. Um, here it is, a Robert Graham. So this is Robert Graham. This is actually a, a brand that I've kind of heard of. I've never actually seen one before. Look how look at the color scheme on this thing, guys. This thing's crazy. So it's a Robert Graham exclusive. It's got the flip cuff. I hit, hit my buddy RVA flips up, asked him about it. He said, oh, yeah, that's a that's a winner there, bud. Paid uh, $3.50 for this Robert Graham. So hoping to get around 50 or 60 for that shirt. I've already uh, have it posted, but really cool. I was I was pretty excited. I you know you guys as you guys know I don't really sell a whole lot of clothing, but I am trying to to ramp up that part of my business because especially with garage sales coming up, I feel like I miss out on a lot of potential profit because all last year because you know I am new to reselling and I didn't know anything about clothing during last year's garage sales, so I would just skip over that whole part. But watching so many YouTubers. Go to garage sales, find awesome uh, pickups. I'm really going to be able to, I think, add to my inventory this coming up year because I know a lot more about clothing now than I did eight months ago when I first started reselling. So that's kind of been a focus of mine is to branch out from the video games. I know plenty about video games, 
board games, toys. I know all that stuff when I go to the garage sales, but I want to add um, clothing and like shoes to the arsenal because that's really what you see a lot of at garage sales, right? You see tables and tables and racks of clothes and shoes. And I feel like there's a lot of potential profit for me out there that I missed last year. So I'm going to be working uh, more on learning more about clothing. So was happy to pick up those two pieces. And I, I forgot that I went to a uh, I went to a garage sale over the weekend where they had advertised they had like high end brands and stuff. Got a couple of decent um, shirts and stuff. I got some Athleta stuff, which I know is pretty popular for really cheap. It was like new with tags, and so we got my wife was buying all kinds of stuff for her, but I picked up a few things. I was able to snag a few things to sell on eBay. So that was at a garage sale, like I think it was on Friday or Saturday. No, it was on Sunday. That's what it was. So anyway, um, that's pretty much what I sourced throughout the week. There was more, but nothing really to like, you know, super exciting to show you guys. Um, the other weekly news is uh, the YouTube channel is going fantastic. Um, so many views on the video, so many awesome comments. Uh, we're getting tons of subscribers, which is awesome. We're getting really close to a thousand subscribers. We're like at 860 something. So the plan is, because I know it's like a thing when you hit a thousand subscribers, you do something, you know, special. So the plan is to do like a live, like a live video when we hit a thousand subscribers shortly after to do like a live Q and A. So if you have any questions for me, um, you know, once we hit a thousand subscribers, we'll do a live Q and A. We'll just kind of, I'll just basically do a live video. We'll we'll hang out, we'll talk, we'll talk reselling. You guys can ask me questions. So that's going to be coming up once we hit a thousand subscribers, which should I think be uh, soon, hopefully. Um, but again, thank you guys as always for all the love and support here on YouTube. Can't believe that we're getting close to a thousand subscribers already. That, I think that's pretty special. So thank you guys for that. But with that being said. We had um, 19 sales this week, so a pretty slow week, and we really didn't have any awesome sales at all. So I was going to kind of put a question out there for you guys. I did. I'm, I was kind of doing a um, an experiment of sorts with my store. So last week, I think we had 30-something sales, but I pretty much ran a sale in my store of 20% off pretty much all week long. So we sold a bunch of stuff. I think it was 34, 35 items last week, 36, something crazy like that. And then this week, I wanted to see what would happen if I didn't run any sales and see kind of what the sales look like and, and, and what we did. So last week in the 30s, this week, like 19. Um, what, do, what are your guys' thoughts on running sales? You, if you have a store, do you run sales often? Because with me being a new reseller, so I haven't really experienced this before. This is like the slow season of selling. Um, right after Christmas and whatnot, and I, things are going to continue to pick back up. But um, I wanted to know what your guys is, how you guys handle things like this because I haven't haven't experienced this before. So when I started reselling in July, really in in August was like my first full month. It was like kind of the prime time, ramping up into quarter four. Sales were always really really good. I always sold a bunch of stuff, and now and leading up, you know, once we got to Christmas and past Christmas, obviously things have really slowed down for me. Um, and I don't know really how to, I don't want to say how to handle it, but should I be running sales? Should I not be running sales? I, I don't know. You know, it's, it's something that, you know, I want to get the most profit out of my items, but if, if they're just sitting on the shelves, they're not really making me any money at all. Right. So anyway, what's your guys' thoughts on that? Do you guys run a bunch of sales during like the slow, this like slow first quarter, or do you just say whatever sells sells and, you know, go from there. But anyway, let's get into what actually sold this week. Like I said, we had 19 sales this week. So here goes. All right, the first thing we sold was a Scentsy Broad Base. This is something my wife picked up off of an auction online auction site. She paid a dollar for this. She bought this, I would say, maybe five months ago. So we've had it for quite a while. Someone finally purchased it for $19.97 plus shipping. So not a bad sale. You know, paid a buck, sold it for 20 bucks. That's not too bad. Next is this Disney's Cole, Cole's Cares Pluto. This was the last one of these I had. I paid a dollar for these at St. Vincent DePaul. I bought five of these and we've sold four. I gave one to my niece for Christmas. But sold it for $12.95 plus free shipping. So there's that. All right, here is an i uh, home. I'm surprised it sold. It's like an iPod dock. I got this in a mystery box that I bought a few months ago. And it was like... An electronics box. I think it was five bucks for the whole box, and I got a bunch of different things. 
a few of these like eye homes in there, things I wouldn't typically pick up at the thrift store because they, they don't have a whole bunch of value. But if they're in a mystery box, I might as well sell them. Um, I think we worked out it like worked out to where I had about fifty cents into each item that I posted out of that mystery box. So I paid about fifty cents for this, and we sold it for eight ninety seven plus shipping. And that took, like I said, I, I bought those mystery boxes I don't know, three months ago or something. All right, here is probably the best story of the week that I'll have. You guys know, whenever I sell something, I like to tell you a little story. That's why these videos take so long. But I think this is the best story of the week. This is a dinky car, um, Coupe de 1959, Coupe de Ville. This was the very first item I ever bought at the very first estate sale I ever went to. And what the, the good, I guess, good for you guys, funny for you guys, not so funny for me, was I went to the estate sale. I had no idea how a estate sale works. I had no, uh, basically walking in blind, had no idea what was going to happen or how it went down or any of the rules or anything. I go to this estate sale. I think it started at like 9 or 10 o'clock. And I got there at like 8.15. So it started at 9. I got there at 8.15. I was 45 minutes early. So I'm there. There was one other person and he was standing in the driveway. So I said, well, I guess I got to go stand in the driveway with them. So I stood out in the driveway for 45 minutes. People continued to show up. And they kept going up to the porch and then coming back down. And I'm thinking, what are they going up there for? Like, are they like looking in the window or knocking, you know, trying to go inside? I don't know. So again, new to a state, never been to a state still. So they keep going up to the porch and coming down. Everybody goes up the porch and comes down. Finally, about 10 minutes until the, the, the state sale finally opened, I started to realize they're coming back down with like a little piece of paper. I'm like, what the heck is that? So I looked at someone's hand and it had a number on, them, on it. I was like, oh man. So I turned to the person, I go, were we supposed to go up there and get a number? And he goes, yeah, you didn't go get one? I go, no. He goes, oh, okay. So by the time I realized that I needed to go get a number, I was like number 32 or something crazy. When really I was the second person there 45 minutes early. So by the time I got into the house, it was a small house. They were letting like six or seven people in at like at one, like total at once. And then if a person came out, then they let one more person in. So I waited 45 minutes for the estate sale to open. And then I waited another like hour and a half. So by the time I got in, there was nothing left. This was the only thing that I saw. And I remember seeing on a um, on another YouTuber's channel, they were talking about dinky cars. I was like, oh, I've heard this name before. I got to buy something while I'm here. So I picked up this dinky car, asked the lady what she wanted for it. She said five bucks. I said, well, how about two? And she said, sure, fine. So this was the very first thing I ever bought. This was I would say in August, maybe. So I've had this for seven months or something. It's finally sold. So that's good. Ten ninety five plus shipping for this. I was sad to see it go. You know, that's the very first thing I ever bought from the state sale. I could have had a lot more. I remember the first guy that came walking out of the house had a some like. So he went in. He was like number three or four or something. He went in. He came out. He had like a sombrero on with a bunch of other hats piled on top of it. Guitar in each hand. I and mean, he had all kinds of cool stuff, man. So. I got a dinky car. All right. <laughs> All right. Next thing we got is a Hasbro Bop It. You guys have seen me sell a bunch of these. Uh, got this at St. Vincent de Paul for like $1.50 or $2. And we sold it for $19.97 plus free shipping on this one. All right. Here is a Sony Walkman. Paid a buck for this at St. Vincent de Paul. Um, really good condition. Worked. Everything worked good. Very clean battery compartment sold it for we took a, an offer on this one i think i had it listed for 25 and a guy messaged me and said hey we think 24 and i said sure so sold it for 20 bucks plus shipping on top for that one like i said I paid a buck had it listed for maybe three days or something so so it was a really quick and easy flip oh here's a lot of eight vinyl records um these were in that 220 dollar Storage unit, if you watched the very first part of that uh, video, toward the end, I was going just basically going through all like these records. I don't know anything about records. I'd never sold records before. Um, so I was basically in the video just going through like, hey, do you guys know this guy? Do you know this one? Obviously, I know who Johnny Cash is, but a viewer on that video hit me up and said, hey, I want to buy some of those records that you showed in the video. Do you still have them? I said, yeah, sure do. I hadn't done anything with them. They were just piled up. They were stacked up in my garage, so. She bought eight of these records. Four were Johnny Cash. One was an Elvis. One was like a Country Hits. One was Grand Ole Opry. And one was Marty Robbins. So all the records were like the sleeves were in pretty rough condition in my opinion. Um, so, yeah. So that's 
Yeah, they were all in rough condition. The records themselves were in terrible condition, I don't think. Um, but anyway, um, I sold them to her for $40 plus shipping, uh, and they went media mail. So if you guys ever see me do like a storage unit video or something, and you see something in those videos that you want to purchase from me, just either hit me up on eBay, you know, MAT Retail, or you can message me here on YouTube, leave a message and a comment, say, hey, I want to, that's basically what you did. Hey, I want some of those records that you showed. You still have them? I said, yep, sure do. So I put this lot together for her and she bought them. So thank you again for the sale. I appreciate it. All right, moving along, we have this. Um, this is a Wii Motion Plus controller. This has the Motion Plus inside, so it's like one of the newer model Wii remotes. Um, bought this for a dollar for the controller and 50 cents for the nunchuck, so I got a dollar fifty into this. We sold it for $24.97 plus free shipping on that one. All right, here is a Game Boy Advance Pokemon. This is like a little film. It's like a movie that you put in your Game Boy Advance for, the, uh, for Pokemon. Um, got this from a garage sale for a dollar. It was new and sealed still, and I thought it would sell for a lot more than it did, but it took forever to sell, and it didn't sell for that much for twelve ninety seven plus shipping. I only paid a buck, so that's cool, but no, it was just kind of interesting. I thought maybe because it was still sealed, I would get more for it, but I just, I did not. It took a while to sell. Months, five months, probably. All right, here is a Home Depot Wiring Projects 123. This came out of that $220 unit. This was a one of the DVDs that was still new and sealed. Um, I listed this like within hours this was sold. So we got $9.97 plus free shipping. It came in a $220 unit, which I've made a ton of money on that unit. So I'm not really sure what I have into this. Like I said, it took maybe two hours to sell. I was very surprised at how quick this sold. Somebody wanted it bad, and they paid $9.97 plus free shipping. All right, here's um, a lot of VTech phones. I got these from Salvation Army for $4.99. These were actually still in the box. They were actually still new. So it was I sold it as new other, like new open box. All the cords and everything were still like factory wrapped and everything you can see there. Everything was still in its protective covering. So we got $39.97 plus shipping for this. And I had this for, I would say, maybe three months or something. Um, but I love selling phone systems. They're kind of a pain to like test and stuff. Because uh, you got to hook each one of these bases up, but since this was still new, I didn't even I didn't even test them because it was still new. But I do like selling phone systems. I just don't really find them that much anymore. I used to find them when I first started reselling. I'd find so phone systems all the time. Now I don't hardly find them at all. All right, here are two books that came out of that two hundred and twenty dollars storage unit that I purchased a couple of months ago. Um, these were this was HC Golden Spiders and some other book Three Men Out by Rex Stout. These books were from 1953. So pretty interesting. Two books by the same author, so I lotted them up. We sold them for $24.95 plus free shipping, and they went media mail, so they were like, it was like three bucks a ship or something. But I just thought the covers were cool, so lotted them up, and they sold quickly within like three days of, of posting these, so I was, I was really surprised at how quick these sold. All right, here's a Pete Rose bobblehead that I picked up from St. Vincent de Paul. Had this one for quite a while. I paid $4 for this one. I actually bought two of these from the St. Vincent de Paul. Um, they were both 4 bucks. The other one sold a while ago. This one I've had for months. Kind of The other one sold kind of near the end of baseball season or shortly after. This one's, we're getting close to baseball season again, so naturally this one would sell right before baseball season. But yeah, this is just a Pete Rose bobblehead. Stars of the Queen City. It's a pretty cool one. Paid 4 bucks. We sold for $14.97 plus shipping on that one. Right, here's a, <laughs> here's the surprise sell of the week. Um, this is a Reba on tour jacket that me and my wife um, we got this from a garage sale. I would say maybe in September. So I had this for quite a while. Um, and this garage sale was a really good one. If if I knew now what I knew then when I went to that garage sale, I would have made a lot more from this garage sale. But Went to this garage sale. The only reason we went to this garage sale was to buy this Reba jacket if it wasn't super expensive. So we went to the garage sale. My wife found the found this jacket. She asked the guy, what do you want for it? It was in good condition. And he goes, oh, I don't know, about five bucks. And we're like, all right, cool. So we were thinking he was going to, you know, like, oh, I don't know, $40 or something for this Reba jacket. But like I said, we paid five bucks for this like in September. It finally sold for $32.97. Plus shipping, I can't believe it actually sold. But at that garage sale, this guy had all kinds of like collectors stuff, sports memorabilia, baseball cards, things I like. You know, I would have I would have bought a lot more now than I did then. 
I bought a few things, but this Reba jacket was the reason we went to this garage sale. We had to have this jacket. I don't know. My wife had to have this jacket. We find, but it sold, so I'm happy about that. All right, here is a uh, PS2 game, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I got this in a bundle of a bunch of other games. Um, I already have this game. It doesn't really have a whole lot of value, but I might as well sell it to somebody and so they can have it for their collection. Uh, the nice thing about this was it still had the poster inside. So most of the time, you know, if a poster is included, that poster gets hung up or lost or whatever. So um, sold this for $5.97 plus free shipping. Like I said, not a very expensive game. Doesn't have any value. But if I already have it, there's no reason to keep me two copies. Um, and like I said, I can sell it to another collector and they can put it in their, in their, um, in their collection. So I'm happy about that. All right, here is a Nerf in strike 18 uh, round, like a max round. It's like a uh, banana clip. But had four of these. I bought a big bag of Nerf accessories. The reason I bought the bag uh, was it had ammo drums, those big ammo drums in them that sell really quickly, which those I've already sold. Uh, paid five bucks for the whole bag. There was a bunch of other just accessories and, and things. There was four of these clips in there. And I sold this one for $7.97 plus free shipping. So I only have one of these. I sold the other three already. This one, uh, like I said, sold $7.97 plus free shipping. It cost like $3 and something to ship. So didn't make a whole bunch on this. We worked it out. I think I had like 50 cents into each piece. Uh, but this was just extra in the bag uh, with the th two things that I wanted the most out of the bag. So I'm happy about that. All right, here's a New England Patriots, um, like a new uh, new era hat. This thing was really nice and clean. Got this from Salvation Army for $2. Um, it was just really clean. And I know these like new era hats are pretty expensive. But this one sold for $17.97 plus free shipping. Like a new one of these was is like 30 or 40 bucks. But not a Patriot fan whatsoever. I remember I posted this in a, like a day later. Someone messaged me and said, why are you selling this hat? It was like right after the Patriots sold, won the Super Bowl. Like, why are you selling this hat? I was just, I'm just wondering why you're selling this hat. And I said, oh, I'm not a Patriots fan. <laughs> I don't know why you wanted to know why I was selling it. But anyway, someone finally picked it up for $17.97 plus free shipping. I was kind of worried that this wasn't going to sell because we're kind of getting out of like the winter season. So things like that North Face jacket, I need to get that thing posted like soon because we're, we're moving out of that the season for those. All right, here is a... Sony laptop uh, charger got this in um, just a bunch of like there was a bunch of Sony cords in a bag um, it had like Sony cords for like camcorders and this laptop uh, can't really honestly I don't even remember what I paid for the whole bag of cords but if I see like a bag of just random Sony cords I'll usually pick them up because you can sell sell Sony cords pretty easily this one sold for $12.95 plus free shipping went first class it was like $3.50 to ship or something so like I said, I don't know how long I had this or how much I paid for it because it was just in a big bag of cords. All right, here is the last sale of the week. Um, it is a Lego Harry Potter minifigure. This is one of the last few of these. I have maybe have like three or four listed, I think. Um, it's been a while since I saw like sold any of this Lego Harry Potter minifigures because I sold so many. I'm pretty much down to like the, the scraps. But Got this in a big bin, as all you guys have heard me say a million times, in a big bin of Lego that I bought at a garage sale many months ago, like in September or something, or August, something like that. I paid 10 bucks for the whole bin. Um, I have about $1,000 worth of actual Harry Potter like Lego sets down in my basement that are still being put together by my wife. So once I get that, um, once I get those together, I'll probably make a video on that. So I have a bunch of Lego Harry Potter sets. And when I say a bunch, I mean like 20 of these old, like, retired sets. And I'm going to do them in an auction and see, just for the fun of it, see what we end up getting it up, getting it up to. But I think it's going to, if I, I looked at other Harry Potter Lego sets that have auctioned, been auctioned off, and they've gone near a 1000 bucks. So, and the one that I have is a lot more complete than those ones that went for around a 1000 bucks. So I'm hoping to be able to get $1,000 for those once they all get put together. So my wife's putting all the sets together so we can take really nice pictures and really figure out what we have and how complete things are some of the sets are complete some of the sets are like really close to complete uh, but most of them are i would say around 95 percent complete but those uh, sets will not include any minifigures because i've sold all the minifigures out of there but this is one of them this is professor Quirrell, and we sold him for 11.95 plus shipping for him and i have like a penny into this guy so anyway guys that's it for this week um, I, again, as always, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. 
Um, should have another video coming out later this week. Um, I think I want to do the next video. I think I want to do is like a day in the life of basically take you guys not just thrifting and then that'd be the end of the video, but like going thrifting, maybe working in the garage on the storage unit stuff, sitting down to list, just the kind of the whole day of what I do. So a video like that I, is something I want to do. And then of course I love doing just the thrifting videos where I take you guys thrifting with me. I like those and it seems to like seems that you guys like those too. But anyway guys, that is it for this week and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.